Manny, thanks for talking to us here on Blues TV. Now permanently a Birmingham City player. Some of your thoughts for us. Um, just happy, happy to be here. You know, ever since I, I stepped out on loan, I was happy. You know, for, uh, it's a big step for me and my family. You know, we're all just happy. I mean, you know, now it's just to kick on and help Birmingham stay up and fight. For, you know, to get to that middle spot. When you sat here in front of us in the summer, your first loan spell away from West Ham, did you ever think that this quickly you would have left your, your homeboy club to then join permanently for, for another team? No, I didn't think it would happen this quick. Like, the fact that it's happened this quick, you know, I've said something, like, I, I must be doing well. <laughs> but no, I didn't, I didn't really expect it to be this quick. Like, and how yeah. big a move is that? Like you say, you've been there since you were 10, 11 years old? Yeah, it's, it's a big move, you know. Considering I've been at West Ham for such a long year, years, <clears throat> um, yeah, like it was hard to process it all, you know, because it was obviously my first time leaving the club to go out and learn, and that was, you know, hard to process as well. But now that I'm here on a permanent, it's just like wow, amazing. Like you say, it probably goes to show the impression that you've made in the short time you've been here. When you first moved, it was all about game time for you, yeah, coming here yeah. to play regular football. 17 appearances in just over half a season so far. How do you reflect on your start here with us? I think uh, in terms of what you said, um, I think it's been a good start for me personally. You know, being playing like first team football week in, week out, you know, especially in a tough league, like championship, where it's just continuous games after games. I feel like I've done all right. Mm -hmm. What is that big difference now you've been playing, like you say, week after week in a, a tough league like the Championship compared to 21's football or the odd cup game? What's that the big difference that you've noticed this year? Uh, you just got to be mentally strong, in my opinion. Um, and if you have a bad game, just learn to put it behind you because there's another game where you can show that you're, you're that player and you can move on from it, you know? Mm -hmm. And you join us at an age, at 22, where, uh, I should probably agree with this, the best is still to come from Mali Longala. <laughs> Yeah, I, I hope so. Yeah, the best is still to come. Um, you know, I feel like me leaving West Ham at this time in my career was uh, probably the best thing for me, you know. Mm. I can kickstart my career here with Birmingham, who showed a lot of faith and confidence in me, and that's why I decided, you know, I'll stay. Do you think more young players need to go out and, and go in search of regular football and, and kick on their careers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, at the same time, I feel like there's a certain time for it. Mm -hmm. and. I felt like my time was now, you know, everybody's got their own time, so yeah, absolutely. You've been here and deployed as a left wing back predominantly in the, the first half of the season. That has encouraged you and given you the licence to go forward. Is that still where your strength lies? Yeah, I like to say that, you know, I like to go forward, you know, uh, create goals, create opportunities, you know, but I'm not the finished article yet, neither am I going backwards, you know, defending, I'm not the finished article. And that's one of the main reasons I'm here to learn, you know, in not a better league to learn the championship. Where there's games after games, I can improve every day. Yeah, you've mentioned that, that defensive responsibility. Is that something that, again, you consciously are trying to work on? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Like with the gaffer, Keith, Matt Gard. So, yeah, for sure. You obviously joined the dressing room with some big personalities. There's a clutch of senior pros, a clutch of young players as well. What's it like, the blend of those two? Uh, the blend was, to be at first, I. I didn't think it would be as how it is right now, mm -hmm. but um, the blend is very good. Everyone gets along with each other so easily. No egos, everybody's humble and nice, so it's just easy for the team to just gel, you know. Where do you fit in? Into that dressing room? Both, like <laughs> old as young, you know. I, just me. You can chat to anyone. I chat to anyone, yeah, <laughs> easily, easily. Already off the mark in terms of goal scoring with yeah. that goal against QPR, is it something that you want to contribute more of now? Yeah, of course, you know, anything to, to help the team, you know, I set up my own personal goals that I want to reach and, yeah, I hope to reach them, I'm going to work hard to reach them, so, yeah, for sure, that's something I want to, to do. And now you've signed here permanently, you can start to look a little further into the future, not just for the remainder of this season, but further into your, your contract as well. What is it, those, those goals and aims that you want to achieve during your time here? Um, look, like I said, win some awards, individual awards, you know, Top assist, um, clean sheets, stuff like that, you know, those type of accolades, you know, and you know, hopefully win some trophies. Why not? Manny, well, welcome to the football club on a permanent basis, and I look forward to tracking your progress here. Thank you very much.